my colleagues, having served as State Minister for Science and Technology, I'm honored to report on this field. Among the issues covered in this report, I want to talk about human resources development. The rapid advance of the fourth industrial revolution uh, could lead to human labor being replaced by robots, resulting in unemployment, while there is the lack of human resources in these fields to deal with these challenges. Adequate education and training are important, especially for the young people. I want to emphasize the need to improve support for the STEM education. In particular, for girls and women are included. In the G20 Osaka leaders declaration, there must be no gender gap in science and technology fields. In order to incorporate diverse perspectives, Japan declared to provide opportunities for high-quality education to 4 million girls and women in developing nations within three years. As chair of the caucus for a future society created by women scientists, I myself have been involved in the development of youth who will be the leaders of the future. We parliamentarians all need to correct the gender bias and establish an environment in which women can participate actively. In closing, I want to emphasize that it's important for all countries and the IPU to take harmonized action. Thank you.